So a spoiler has been leaked that Betty and Jughead will kiss in a future episode of this season. I'm going to explain to you guys why this is a good and a bad thing and why it is postponing my ship decision. So guys, one thing that separated Riverdale from my last favorite show in Girl Meets World was that Girl Meets World kind of forced the relationship of Lucas and Riley. And don't get me wrong, I did enjoy that ship with all of my heart, but that relationship was most definitely forced. Now, with the whole triangle with Betty, Veronica, and Archie kind of lingering, I still haven't found my way to choose a ship out of that because I'm having a hard time choosing whether I want Betty with Archie or whether I want Betty with Jughead and then have Veronica go with the other guy and there you go. But it seems that they were doing a pretty good job of being patient and building storylines and building chemistry between the characters until I come across a video that had Betty and Jughead kissing. So now I'm sitting here thinking, wow, thanks a lot, Riverdale. You're following in the steps of my last show because I was really starting to lean more towards the ship of Betty and Jughead because I figured they would allow the characters to build chemistry through, I don't know, maybe a season to where they build a friendship and made the relationship that much more sweeter. But since they're gonna force a kiss, kinda like Archie and Veronica, I can't really ship these two like that anymore. Now, don't get me wrong, I highly doubt that these two are going to go out. But if they do, the only way that this ship could be in game is if these two get together, have a great relationship, which I'm sure they will, break up, get separate boyfriends and girlfriends, get jealous of each other, realize they still love each other, and then get back together and have a great relationship and live happily ever after. You know, kind of like H2O did with Lewis and Cleo, where they kind of just forced the two to be together. No kind of real chemistry that stood out from the other two girls and Richie and Emma. So then they had them break up Lewis got with Charlotte, Cleo was obviously jealous and still had feelings for Lewis, got back together with them and they lived happily ever after. Or kind of like a Zach and Kelly relationship where they started going steady for a little while, then Kelly broke up with Zach, started going out with uh, teachers and professors as they got older, and then she realized her love for Zach had never left and that made the relationship that much better. Probably one of the greatest ships of all time, even though it was obvious they were meant for each other. I feel that's the same power that Jughead and Betty could have if they go this route. But considering that Jughead is supposed to be asexual, as some spoilers and videos are saying, I just don't really see these two going anywhere. Now, I do kind of ship Jughead and Veronica just a bit, considering the fact that Veronica's mom is the reason that Jughead lost his home and his job. Maybe Veronica kind of feels bad for him, and it kind of makes their friendship a little stronger. And then they have a lot of more moments along the way, and there you go. But for as Betty and Jughead right now, I was kind of leaning towards it, but now it's kind of making me take a couple steps back. So considering that they're going to have them kiss from the get-go, I'm going to go ahead and put Bughead on hold, and are we really going to call these guys Bughead? I mean, I don't mind, I don't really care, but can we think of a better name? I mean, I've seen Jetty, I mean, can we please go with that? But um, oh well, Bughead it is. Now as for Barchi, I'm kind of leaning a little more towards this ship because of what we've been informed over the first four episodes and that's the fact that Archie seems to have no kind of non-platonic feelings for Betty but Betty seems to have all the feelings in the world for Archie and if this turns out to be the end game which I kind of six times out of ten 
thinking it is, it's going to be that much more sweeter because if Archie ends up liking Betty or falling in love, he's going to have to really think hard about it considering that now he doesn't really like her in a non-platonic way. So if he does, that means that those feelings were earned and they were earned over time in the friendship. And when you get to know someone and you build a chemistry that makes the relationship and the end game that much better. So now I kind of see what some of the Lukaya fans were talking about with the fact that Rukas was kind of forced and Lukaya kind of worked for their feelings. I mean, don't get me wrong. I may be a Rukas shipper and sometimes I seem to be a little biased. But most of the time, I'm not really biased. I, I can see stuff from your point of view. And I really understood what some Lukaya fans were talking about. And for right now, and as of right now, it seems like Barchi is the ship that's really going to take time to get to know each other. Considering that Archie and Veronica already have made some kind of infidelity or whatever they did in that, that closet. I don't know what they did. But it seems like Betty and Archie are going to continue their friendship, build on that, and create a great end game. Now, this does not mean that I have chosen a ship. I mean, as a matter of fact, I mean, I'm far from it. We need a couple more episodes. I mean, I really want to choose a ship or ships considering that there are so many. But I just can't because I don't have enough info. It's not enough time. Give me, guys, give me probably about 10 episodes. And I'll post a video about who I should. But guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And for more Riverdale videos, please hit that subscribe button. And we will see you guys next time.